Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below, I subscribed, and you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. On today's video, we will be looking at bars that were mediocre before John Trafer came to rescue them. Last night, Maria spit out her beer, and the customers are saying that it's flat. So today, I want Neil to go through the beer system top to bottom. Look at that, that's mold. White, bloomy mold. Fairways Golden Grill in Mufriso Boro, Tennessee. The vents are covered in slime, gunk is being pulled out of the bottom of the fryer, and the bacterium in the food has grown so much that it is actually bubbling. The condition of the kitchen was so bad that there were mushrooms growing in the mold-infested walk-in cooler. It took a professional mold removal cleaning team a full 24 hours to make sure that the bar was safe for service again. These molds damage vital parts of the human body, including lung and the immune system, and are potentially fatal. Toxic mold can spread easily through air vents. Therefore, any infestation found in any area of the bar can render the entire bar unsafe. This is, without a doubt, the worst failing bar in John Trafer's history. Where the f are I, I really want a beer. After nearly 20 minutes, the girls... There's a bunch of beer sitting in ice, and the question arises on how often the ice is burned. People think that ice stops bacteria, but it doesn't. Trayford tells them that when the ice is burned down, the sludge that is left behind is bacteria. In addition, all of the appliances were covered in grease, creating a fire hazard. Trayford scraped bacteria off of the cutting boards and continued to find one sanitary violation after another. And that means that the people in the back will do the same. That's right. <laughs> what can I get for you? Well, this Bar sounds intriguing to me. This is more yeah, smart team. It is good. The stand-up Scottdale in Scottsdale, Arizona has a really bad track record. Upon walking into the bar, a curtain of beef smoke engulfs the entire bar, making it seem as though there was a fire inside the kitchen. Filth and disgust was evident in every aspect of the bar when examining the nooks and crannies in the back. John Trafer said he'd personally shut down this bar if he could, but regardless, he recommends people avoid it at all costs due to the smoke and the sheer disgust that the bar has. It's taken sort of a long time. He's in his own world. I expect a certain level of service. I don't want to see it. The entire bar is disgusting. There is garbage surrounding the circular bar sitting right next to the customers. The bathroom is so repulsive that customers walk right out upon entering and do not use it. The trash throughout the bar sounds horrible, however, this is not yet the worst problem. The bar gives off a horrific odor because a dead rat has been sitting behind in 2003, former Philadelphia detective Tom Gaylord retired from the force and cashed in his 401k to buy Lickety Split. Downey's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is pretty well known for being a bad bar. Dominic, the owner, became so overwhelmed by his failing business that he didn't even notice how atrocious this bar had become. The exterior was battered, the paint was peeling, panels were missing, and the interior was really dirty, cluttered, and in some spots, literally falling apart. The kitchen itself was filthy and poorly maintained, and the stove literally caved in when Trafer's crew started to clean it. With that said, this will bring us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, once again, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below saying I subscribed, and again, you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.